is Ray, my road tours. Today I'm out at, uh, checking out a, I'm mean, inspecting basically a project we got going on at the house. Um, what we're doing is we're having a generator installed. Uh, you can hear the wind getting up. Hopefully we don't get any of those 90 mile an hour gusts while I'm trying to film this. So anyhow, if, if you haven't gathered, we live in the foothills of the Colorado Rockies, uh, up in basically up near the mountains. Uh, the Rocky Mountain National Park is yonder that way. Uh, Denver's about straight back that behind me, and Boulder's there, and over here's Erie, Longmont, hygiene places like that. Ah, uh, so. The reason we're doing this, if you, if you can't put it together, uh, living up in the, the Rockies, or this close to them, you know, you're subject to power uh, interruptions. Could be floods, you know, had a, I don't know what they called it, a hundred year rain and a thousand year flood back in 2013. Cost, I don't know, a billion dollars in damage. Uh, Unfortunately, lives were lost during during that as well. They're they're still rebuilding parts, of roads, and bridges. <laughs> it's like four years ago. Um, so then you got snowstorms, ice storms, wildfires. Uh, the occasional animal wants to crawl up a telephone pole and gnaw on a wire. So anyhow, it's kind of be expected up here. So started uh, last June, we uh, decided we would uh, uh, have a home generator installed. This kept getting pushed back over the summer and fall due to, uh, you know, everything from scheduling conflicts to now, uh, natural disasters both nationally and internationally uh, if you remember uh, harvey hit houston or texas area uh, irma florida i believe it was maria that uh, did a number on the islands virgin islands um, obviously puerto rico uh, so there was a huge demand on generators so we had to wait a while uh, to order one uh, to get one so anyways so had a landscape crew come out here cut out a little flat part of the hill here uh, put up a retaining wall both above and below to keep the dirt washed out that's a pre-manufactured uh, concrete pad from uh, Generec I think it's about three inches thick maybe a little more uh, I'm not sure how how deep it's in there if it's just sitting there it's it looks like it's sitting on ground but I assure you every inch they they dug was there's tons of rocks you can just see it it's rocks all over the place it's in and above the ground so it's pretty solid um, walk around over here where our lines will be buried here. The one with the yellow tape, that one's going down to the gas meter mm -hmm. trench. Sweet. This other trench here obviously is going to the meter, the power source. Excuse me. Now that's a 40 amp switch, you know, if you know anything about electricity and stuff that's that's quite a bit it's it's a good size home so requires a obviously a big size generator this is going to be a 48 kilowatt generator obviously natural gas now they'll they'll come out here uh hopefully we'll get the generator next week and uh 
they'll plumb it all up they'll test the meter make sure the gas meter is supplying enough gas for it if not they'll have to replace the meter uh inspect all the lines then the landscape people will come and you know tidy it all back up now if you notice it's uh, we got a lot of we're surrounded by trees and hills so how do you get the generator in here <laughs> that'd be the fun part i think um, okay so if you can look down here you can see the road and our driveway what they're going to do is park a rather large crane. See these kind of this gap between these two trees here going up um, all the way to the top there. The crane's going to come above those, kind of brush in between them a little bit, I reckon, and uh, lower it into its final resting spot here. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully the crane guy will let me strap a GoPro to it or something. <laughs> Alrighty there, I just want to kind of get out here and do a walk around. Make sure everything looked kosher before the generator's delivered. Again, I'll try to get some crane footage. That'll be fun. Maybe even some install once we get the transfer switch. Um, in the meantime, I thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. Thanks.